He's the only person I've ever met that's give himself his own nickname. Balls got a pinged up my head with that. I didn't know what I was doing. I was in run I was in there for like an hour once. <laughs> <laughs> he just chased me around the whole pitch by the game we're going on. <laughs> same, Seriously. Same, same team. Same well. team chasing me. He said, Tevis went shirt, Tevis shirt. He wouldn't give me anything, like nothing. Gets an half time, mate. <laughs> Gone hell forever at me, honey. Did I? Yeah, well, come back when you, you got top goal scorer in the Sunday League. <laughs> he went, I won World Cup. <laughs> Welcome back, pal. All right, mate. What's happened to your hair? <laughs> it's a bad hair. <laughs> My <laughs> God. I knew you was going to say this because you got away with one last week because you wore a cap. But I've said to the. Should have wore balaclava. <laughs> Turkish lad. Just don't take too much off, mate. You fuck me, honey. You just done me. You just don't listen. <laughs> well, no, he's Turkish. I can't understand you. <laughs> it's just, I just said, keep the top a bit. He's just gone, fuck off. Oh, so, it's it is a, what it is, mate. Mess. Just listen on it's a Spotify mess. if you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What have you been up to? Uh, oh, so I went centre park centre last weekend. Oh, took, yeah. the, took the family and the Got kids. No away. money left. No money left. No. I've had these Invisalign's in for, oh my God, my teeth for well. So. Don't they hurt? Yeah. Mind Especially the size of my teeth is fucking hell. <laughs> it's not like shifting normal teeth, is it? Fucking so, hell. So, yeah, how's your week been? Did you, did you win on Saturday? No, you we got you... beat again. Oh, you got beat. Um, struggling at the minute. Asses have gone. <laughs> you should be. Yeah. Yeah. Asses Mac have gone. I know. Who else? Ryland. Well, I scored after 28 seconds or something. Bullet header. And then I thought, it's going to be playing sailing. I think all the other lads did. We got beat 5-2. So, so, can you win the league this Saturday? No. Um, oh, so, last time we spoke, you only needed two I think wins. 10 games ago, we needed a couple of wins. <laughs> Arses have fully gone, mate. Have they? Yeah, so we need two wins out of five. And that's, but that's if they win all their games and they've got seven to go. So, if they drop any points, we yeah. just need one win. One win. Yeah. Nervous you... times, mate. I want it wrapped up so I, we can... Do you need me to get my boots? Yeah, just come on. Might get you and I, I guess. He'll come down, <laughs> see if John will let him come. <laughs> I don't think he would. He'll keep him as far as away he can. So, yeah, our guest. So, I remember, I can't, he's just reminding me, but I thought the first time we met was when he was playing for Bamber Bridge and he just terrorised me, like banter-wise, the whole game. Just abusing me. Yeah. He's always done it to me, mate. Abused me, abused me, and then... John and Bernard were shouting stuff from the sideline. He was ab abusing John and Bernard. I thought to myself, who is this guy? <laughs> yeah. Who is this guy? Like, he's got, he's brave. He's a very brave man. Well, um, I'll bring it up because he'll remember it anyway. So well, we I'm going to bring it up if you don't. We played him <laughs> and for 90 minutes, he just shouted, Lewis Coyle shagged your bird. <laughs> but I was like, you're playing as well. How are you shouting for 90 minutes? Like how how are you doing this? My head was gone. Now I need to get angry to play footy, but I was I was shite. But that's he done, he's, a, he done a number on me. He's me. one of the biggest wind up merchants in the world. And I thought to myself, this guy's a knob. Like he really annoyed me. And then obviously when I went to Ramy, the last club that, that I was ever at, he was my teammate. And I actually become really good friends with him. We had many a nights out. And you actually realise it's just a persona on the pitch. Well, he just said, you just had a night out in some shit cheese shop in Ramy. And I reminded him. Went, what, my cheese and shop? I, know, I had to remind him that shit cheese shop was my cheese shop. <laughs> so he's still hammering people now. It, 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 it should be shit. I'm pretty sure we had free gin and tonics all oh, day. The, um, so I think he's calmed down a little bit now. Yes. Not sure because I've not seen him for a while. But he's the only person I've ever met that's give himself his own nickname. He did do, didn't he? Yeah. It's a good nickname. Like you can't give yourself a good nickname. Like, <laughs> if I call myself Big Ears, that's not too bad. But what if you call true. yourself Darren Tecker's Green <laughs> on your Facebook, you're in for a bit, aren't you? So, Mr. Daz Green. How are we doing? I'm excited for this one because it is a no holds barred podcast, isn't it? Going all out. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do? Edit it out after, yeah. Do you I know don't what? edit any of it out. <laughs> Send it all in. Because <laughs> I know as soon as we introduce this guest, there will be managers, players, coaches who'll just go, 
shit. Yeah, I think. <laughs> what I think, is he going to say? John I don't even know what me. I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> John O's going to ring me saying, what have you got him on for? He's going to terror me. But, so, but, very, very good player. Yeah. Um, Hence the nickname. Yeah, and you did start off at a very good standard. You was at Preston as a young lad. Yeah. And that's where you're from, isn't it? That's where I'm from, Preston, yeah. How did that, how did that come about? Then what kind of age? Uh, from about eight till about 14, 15. Right. And then uh, just playing not Sunday. I don't like for kids' football, just playing that. And um, I was doing things that other kids couldn't do, like bending them in top pins. And I thought, I'm, even I was thinking I was a good player then. Yeah. And then uh, I got called down for a scout uh, for a trial match, did well and got signed on, and then just kept going up to a 14. And that's when... I started going really downhill from there, really, but I, you know, attitude wise and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, to you, stay at that level, I mean. Yeah, to stay at that level. So you've all, you've always had that kind of attitude. Just a wind. I just wanted to have a laugh. I like making people laugh. It's funny, isn't it? Best the, if you if you like if you're feeling down, the best thing to have is humour. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I like to do: make people laugh. Just be an <laughs> idiot, really. <laughs> well, <laughs> can we? Well, we'll bring, we'll come on to that after the old Twitter retweets and stuff like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but so, he didn't go down too well at Preston when you was having it. To be fair, you're probably out in Preston. To be, week, to so. be fair, I was I was all right. I just really just like <clears throat> I used to like do my own thing, you know, like say you got instructions, I'd I'd think, yeah, I'll do that later. Everything was later. Nothing was ever like so you should chill out, not go out with your mates, don't get into 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 bother. Not like I got into bother, but I liked staying out till like eleven o'clock at night. Do you know what I mean? And as a 14-year-old. I, 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 back then, where I was from, it was that was normal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There were no like coming in when light when uh, street lights come on. It's coming like when we should shout me coming in, and I'd say I've been in an hour or something at 13. She's go okay. The kind of life I had. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I'm pickled. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, when you, when you got the call from from Preston or, or or the meeting, how did you then? Because then you went to crew after that. So was that just trials or to just? Did you did you want to be a footballer? <clears throat> yeah, I always wanted to be a footballer. Yeah, but I uh, with the Preston thing, it got to about fourteen, fifteen, and then I actually got released. But then I got called back about a year, about a year and a half later, um, for by Mark. I forgot his name, Mark Wearing, I think he was called actually, right. and he'd call me in for a trial. Yeah, but he, he didn't know I already been there, so I come <laughs> in. I've caught in there. Paul Simpson's manager, Chris McGrail, one of uh, one of my close friends when we're going up. He's gone, go and see the gaffer. So I've gone, all right, so I've walked, I'm like, I don't usually get nervous, but I'm literally nervous as anything. I've gone into his office, I've gone, hey, uh, uh, I'm Daz Green, and he's just looking at me, what are you doing here? <laughs> he, didn't know, he didn't even know we're coming. <laughs> he didn't even know I was coming to the actual trial. So the whole thing was like, it all, it all shit show from there, really. That, the second time, yeah, the second time I went was a shit show. Funny that, innit? Coming for a trial, you going back, been to, going back to the in. club, <laughs> everyone comes in. Hey Darren, <laughs> hey, Darren. <laughs> who's, who's brought him back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you doing here, pal? So, oh, so did, did you end up having a trial then or not? Or did you uh, just walk out? It was literally, I, I must have been there for about three days and I left. Right. And then um, I was. Uh, are you still at school at this point? Uh, no, just left school. Right. Just left school. So then I went to college and then I played a college game and then. A scout called Glenn Chamberlain from Crew was watching, and then that's how I got scouted for Crew. And did you do a scholarship there at Crew then? Uh, no, I got my pro then. Seventeen, I was right. What, uh, straight in seven, on a pro. Straight on a pro, yeah. Seventeen, yeah. Didn't do any. Well, got a pro, but we played like with like the twenty ones, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. First team, yeah. And how was Crew? Then. Unbelievable, mate. Was it? Yeah, unbelievable. Like one of the best experiences I've had to be fair. And just being around the place, like at the time, I was what like, coming up to my eighteenth birthday ish. And then they got just been around all the 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 the, um, the pro scenery, like all the plays, like yeah. plays you watched as well. It's quite decent to be fair. Yeah, enjoyed it. And what was the level like? How did you find the level? Oh, I was absolutely dog shit at the start. It was like, like balls were getting pinged about. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. Trying to play them rondos. <laughs> I was in rondo. I was in there for like an hour once. <laughs> <laughs> in rondo, ping, ping, ping. Like I was like, oh my god. You can or, make if only one level plays as well. Yeah. If you're not feeling up to the standard and you get thrown into that standard, you can 
stick out like a sore phone. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I yeah. was miles off it, like miles off it. So I could tell as well, like in bed, I remember going home. I actually got put up in digs first when we got there. I was going back to the hotel room and I was sat in my hotel room, my hands in my left foot. I am not a footballer. I thought I was. I mean, I've nicked them myself, Daz Tekka's green, and I thought I was a player, and I'm not. <laughs> It'd be, <laughs> Where do I go from here? For an hour, you're like spinning. <laughs> we used to play a game at Fylde before training, and it was a big rondo, one touch, and if you lost three lives, you had to buy sweets and biscuits for the whole coach, so it's like 40 quid. And I remember getting it on my first ever training session, and I just thought, shit. This is me for the rest of the year. And it's like, <laughs> but then I learned to just fuck it off to the shitter ones than me. So like, yeah. I'll just palm it off to other lads. And but to be fair, that done me heading. Like yeah. spending all well, not all that money, but spending that money and the embarrassment of losing just set me off to on a bad path at file. It was awful. Uh, did you know then at that point that you weren't going to make it at that club? No, I knew. I knew. So it, it, I, after that first initial two. Two weeks to a month. Yeah, I kind of you get. I, I caught up with the paces. Settled so in. I, I wasn't in the rondo for. I was in there for like a minute now. Yeah, and everyone else is in there for like um and like Adam Noland. Do you remember Adam Noland? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I travelled up with him. He used to pick me up. I worked driving at the time. He used to pick me up, and he's a, the most boringest guy in the entire <laughs> world. By the way, <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're in the car going up to training because this is after the digs. So I've I've already done like a month, and then I come back, and then I, Adam signed to come on loan from Preston. So I said, can you take me up? Jesus, man. It was, he picked me up in the car and it's about an hour in it to get to the crew. Just literally nothing. Just looking and I'm like, so you had a good weekend? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> One, I'm like, okay, anything you've done? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> and then I'm literally just looking at the car I'm look, and I'm, I remember once I'm in the car and I'm just putting the window down and back up again. Must have done it for about five minutes. And all he, I thought, he's going to lose his head. He's going to give me something. And all he said was, we we stopped doing that, please. And I said, yeah. It got that boring. I went, them trees are nice over there, aren't they? And he went, just, yeah, yeah, they're all right. Just anything <laughs> Just to anything. Say. Oh, man, he was horrible. I got there. I'm depressed before I get to training. Yeah, that's not what you need. You, no. need, you need a good car school, don't you? Yeah. yeah this, this, I mean, good player, by the way. Good player, Adam Nolan. But, gee, man, social skills, horrendous. <laughs> How long did you spend at crew, then? Uh, two years, was there. Did you break through to the first team? Uh, Play any games? I did about four games I got there. Uh, Remember your debut? Uh, it was against Notts County, yeah, it was against Notts County. And it, Ryan Law was there, weren't he? Was he Ryan, a player at the time? Ryan was a player at the time. Um, Tom Pope, Ryan Tom Law. Tom Pope? I'll tell you what manager, Steve Holland, Steve Holland, you know, his sister to Gareth Southgate, now England. He yeah. He was gaffer, yeah. Was there? Yeah. Uh, Grady was just in the back like a little, just kept, he just sent him like, one minute he'll come in, he'll just tell him something and and then fuck off and then come back again. Like he didn't know what his job were. Yeah, yeah. Was brilliant. So you must have had a bit then if England's assistant's well, picking you. I had a, we had a game and I don't know why we had a game against Mansfield because they're nowhere near. I, I, I don't know my geography but they were nowhere near. We had a game against Mansfield and um, this is what really got me to like looked at really and um, we play we play Mansfield and we won 4-2 and I scored 2 and I set 2 up and I played, I, I was honestly, I was pinging things out left. I was like going, you know, <laughs> I was hitting one out, do you know, you could hear it. Yeah. And, um, just fizzing it across. I was just fizzing it. I was, I was, I was uh, dead happy with myself. And then um, that's that's what got me on. And Steve Holland uh, pulled me aside and he's like, like, hence why I call myself Techers, because he was like, your technical ability is unbelievable. Like, really, like, at my age, the best he's seen, one of the best he's seen. Right. So that gave me a big ego as well. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's like big conf confidence, confidence boost. boost. As well. Yeah, it was a confidence boost. But when you put Nicky Maynard and all that, I do. Do you know what I mean? I'm never. Sean Miller was there with me. He's just, a guy just from Preston off council estate, trying to make it past these boys, I'm trying to work that with my confidence. Even though I was playing well, I thought I'm never going to make it here. Do you think a little bit of like self belief let no, you I've down? Always, I've always believed in myself. Always believed in myself. I just you... thought, just that, like, like it was weird because it was like a bipolar. Really, it was like one minute I was like, "Oh, I'm easy going to make it," and the next minute, say something little tiny happened. Yeah, I'd be like, "Oh, I'm not going to make it." So it I couldn't make, make, make my head. My, my, yeah, my, yeah. Mentally weak, really. Too emotional. Yeah, proper emotional. Probably, like weak. I think back now, and I think, what? A, how mentally weak was I? 
Yeah. They say you're I supposed to be never too high, never too low. Well, that's what well, I was always dead high and dead low, never in between. <laughs> yeah, but I I was oh my God. Jesus. I feel like you've all, you've always had that though, haven't you? What? Like you've always had like either super happy yeah. or all of a sudden I'm bang, a big bipolar, crash. I think I've definitely got bipolar, honestly. <laughs> bipolar there. <laughs> bipolar, definitely. That should have been your nickname. Yeah, should, that's bipolar green. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a story at the about Lowe getting the papers in. Right, well... Um, I don't. I'm saying I'm saying him, but I can't 100 uh, remember if it was. But I will say him anyway, just because he's the North End manager, okay. and we can fucking. So, I remember, he to be fair, he looked after me when I went in. He said, "Anything you want, I'll look after you." Like, um, uh, showing me where the kit were, the training, show me on the training ground. He was proper sound. Was he good? So obviously, like a senior pro. Yeah, young yeah, lad. It was proper sound, in. like, and. Um, so we, what they used to do, you store the papers in. So lads used to store the papers. So they get the papers, like if, what, if they wanted the sun or whatever, where they order them in. And they'd be waiting on the where they were sat. How long ago was this? This was, uh, <laughs> geez, well, it was 2008, this, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Order a paper in. Yeah. Order a paper. Like, somebody, go, some, somebody come around and say, do you want a paper for the next day? And they go, yeah, so there's be a paper waiting for it. I've never heard that before in my life. So, hey. so, Tom, Tom Pope would have a paper. Yeah. And... Uh, Anyway, he's not come in, so he's opened the paper up on page three. He's took the world's biggest shit you've ever seen in the paper. <laughs> right. The biggest dollop of shite you've seen that's clumped on. He's closed it and he's squashing it down like this in the paper. He's flat as a card, mate, honestly. And he's, and he's just folded it back up, put it nicely back where it were. Oh, my God. So we get into the canteen. I'm like, I'm obviously just signed, so I'm like, I, got, I, I thought... He's, have you seen him? He's monster as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So we get into the canteen. Everyone knows what's going on. Everyone's laughing. Popey walks in. Paper on the arm. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. He flip his arm. Paper on arm. Little drinks bottle. Just having a thing. Just catches anything. So I'm like, I'm like laughing my head off here. So he sits down. gets his, Puts the paper down. Gets his food. Comes back. Goes to open paper. Skips about four pages. Oh, oh my god, he's head. I've never his uh, head's gone completely. He's offering all the team out. The youth team players are getting offered that. He's offering everybody outside. To, he's like, who did it? Who's done this? Oh, unbelievable. I'm, I was shaking because I thought, if he sees he thinks he's me, he's gonna eat me alive, isn't he? Oh, he's open. He did he find out? He, did, uh, he didn't go training that day. Couldn't train. He's had smart completely. <laughs> no, he couldn't train. Smart. Didn't train. Couldn't, I think it was in, 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 uh, in physio room, mate. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> in physio room because there's a big shit in his paper. Yeah. Embarrassing. He shouldn't be ordering papers anyway. <laughs> you? I've never heard of that. One. I don't even could read, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even got to look at the pictures. <laughs> well, that was probably his his only page that he wanted to look at. The page three. Well, he used to smoke. He used to smoke. He used to have about ten to fifteen fags a day, Tom. So at training, at training, going to his car, puffing off. There's a lot of smoke come above his car. So he's like, that duck down. <laughs> ten <laughs> fags. How do you play football with ten, fifteen fags a day? He's just unbelievable. <laughs> he was a good, and as he well. was a good player, mate. Yeah, Strong as an ox. He had, he had them bandy legs like you've got as well, by the way. <laughs> but these were like extra bendy legs. Like, like, yeah. Unbelievable. You know what he said to me? He said, I've not seen Jordan in ages. He went, he's still got them bandy legs, hasn't he? <laughs> I went, you can't get rid of them. He went, I thought he might, I thought he might have had some physio on him. <laughs> <laughs> some physio on him. Yeah, I'm like straight up. Yeah, like, fuck me. Physio on your bandy legs. The six foot four. Because you would say it like, well, you, just going back, we met before you slated me, didn't we? Yeah. So I, um, I can't remember. I, I this. met you when I, I went on to Farsley. I went to Farsley Celtic on loan. From where? where? That was from Stockport. From that Stockport. One. And uh, we played Fleetwood at Fleetwood, and you was playing. And obviously, everyone, I think everyone knew you then, because you was. Um, no. So good. A bit of a, <laughs> a <dick>. brick. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think you were, were modelling and everything like that. I think Probably. you never seen your face in fucking those sets. Uh, that one, um, I was targeted. Anyway, he was. I was on the wing, and I don't know why. You'd always drift out to wing, yeah. And then ball come over, and you just fucking you love the elbow, didn't you? El leaping up, bash straight in my dish. That uh, <laughs> none was <laughs> mate. Oh my god, I still, I still feel it now. You squash my nose into my face. <laughs> Fizzy on, I know you're okay. Blood just pissing all over my face. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. I think you broke my nose as well. Did I say day. sorry? 
Uh, no, you just ran off, mate. Did I? I think Sorry. you scored as well that game. You did. Did I? You did. And Edder as well. Don't. Yeah, don't get him on to go. No, Sorry. he scored an Edder. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Sorry, pal. Well, I apologise now. After he does bash my nose up. <laughs> I apologise. So did. how did it end at crew? Basically, mate, same thing. Just going out, not looking after myself. Just uh, Were you misbehaving at crew? Just, yeah, like, not misbehaving like... Uh, not over the top behaving, misbehaving, but just you know, trying to have a laugh. Constantly wanting to have a laugh. When I got settled in, when I got settled in, yeah. like fucking free for all. I did, did, did out like fucking. I remember like pouring water into lads' trainers and stuff, like filling the trainers up to like the brim of the shoe. <laughs> lads going in with after putting the foot in, a big squelch coming out of it. No, actually, never got found out that was me that either. <laughs> I've, just, I've just admitted it on there. Like, it was me. Used to do every footballer there. Um, yeah, just being a just being a dick really, just like not not knuckling down, just, just not buying into just being not a pro, buying into be a pro, yeah. yeah, not getting that life. And um, I just remember getting dragged in by the gaffer and they said we're not renewing your contract. And I thought I off expected anyway, so I weren't playing. I was getting resies and stuff, just just half expected, don't you? You yeah. just know something's gonna happen. And and what did you think then? I thought. Did, did you have I, anyone I, I looking after you at the my time? Agent, I, mean, I had an agent at the time, and he's like, some clubs watching you, and one was Stockport, right? So. And then so you went to so, stop so, I knew, so it was like literally just a quick quick exchange. And you so, and you signed a pro then? I signed a pro at Stockport, yeah. Right. What division were they in two? They're league two then. Yeah. Right. I got we got promoted, I got promoted with them. Who's the gaffer? It was Jim Gannon. <laughs> He's another fucking empty head as well. <laughs> oh my god. Christ. Uh, tactically, one of the best I played under. Man management, horrific. Really? The worst. It literally it'd be you'd do like a pass five yard, he'd go to your player. And he'd scream. Do you know one of them gaffers who scream on the side sideline every minute of every game? Yeah. And he'd just scream. Like, he'd do one play, because he wanted to play forward all the time. And sometimes, you can't always play forward. So I just like the little safety sign, and do you know foot on it, the little pass there to my mate, and he could turn out and do it. Yeah. Just, oh, it was just a fucking bell in, mate. It just <laughs> proper. Just, oh. Did that put you off then? Again? Yeah, like me and him there, we got shit. We fucking, we I did. can't imagine you two getting on. No, no. we didn't get on. Okay. We didn't get on, like. Like, obviously, when what, I when but I he get played the pro, you, he played you. He played me, yeah, he played me. But he played me. But uh, and I'd listen to a certain extent because sometimes it could be all right. You could have a little level with him. Do you know what I mean? He could be sound. Yeah. And then um, just it's just a shouting. My head doesn't work with the shouting. It does not work. As soon as I get shouted, I fucking head explodes. Yeah. Can't handle it. Just put, just tell me, cuddle me, hug me, to say, make me feel ten feet tall. Look after me. Like don't like. Just tell me how good I am, and then I'll, yeah. I'll be the best I can be. You start screaming at me, fucking give no chance, mate. Switch off. Just a fucking body running around. No brain. <laughs> no brain. No brain. That's just a body. Yeah, fault, gone. Though. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, happened pre pre season with uh, is it Proud Lock? Oh yeah. Uh, so we got onto uh, where do we go? Italy on a pre season tour, and uh, obviously you were. Um, it's like a bit of a. So it's a pre-season. You got to take it serious, but it's like you have like a little. Well, it was a team know. bonding thing. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Got to have a night out, aren't you? Yeah, <clears throat> but we we're, were on a night out here, yeah. so we're on <laughs> we're around the pool, and the gaffer and his cronies went out. You know, going to have a look sexy and stuff. So I, I think there was me, Proudy, Tommy Raw, um, and a few others, a few Irish boys were there. And Proudy's got this great idea to go and break into the gaffer's room, right? I don't know why he thought he was like that, Proudy. I don't know if you've ever met him. He's no. a fucking strange guy. Stranger than me, and that's saying something. And um, he fucking, he goes, right, we're going to break into the gaffer's office. He said, I need three people. And he said, I need one to go, I need, I'm going in, one to stay at the door, and one to keep high on the stairs if anyone's coming up. So, <laughs> who is oh, this guy? Oh, set this up, mate. It's yeah. unbelievable. Uh, he's psychotic. Like yeah. He's psychotic. So he's gone in. And another thing as well with fucking shit, turds. It's football. No, it is with football and turds, man. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? So he's got, he's had this idea. He's took Gaffer's kettle, dropped his kecks, took a shit in kettle, <laughs> put it back on it, and boiled the fucking shit. <laughs> um, honestly, after his, with lookouts, his boi- well, with lookouts, yeah, like so, he's boiled it. But the stench, mate, the stench was absolutely frightening. The 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 raw got evacuated. Let's go and find another hotel. We got that bad. It really? was horrific. Gaffer's come out. He's like, 
Oh my god, his fucking rooms was full of shit. <laughs> stink. His clothes must have stunk of shit. Oh, it was awful. It was horrible. Uh, the stench. I was at the pool and I had a towel over my head because the stench was coming out of the pool, mate. It was disgusting. Italian, Italian waiters, everything flying, going around. <laughs> What's going on though? I just fucking Brad in and Brad just walks out like he catches anything. Sits down, <laughs> chills. He's like, what's going on? Did, did, did he ever find out? It yeah, was did it? the guy oh, find no, out? Never find out. Until that proud he left, I think. I think he would have known until proud he left. I think he'll know now. It's been years after. He'd have known now. And you had to change hotels. We had to change that hotels with that bad man. Yeah, we had to we had to go to a different hotel. It was like, horrific. But it were I think I don't think I'm not entirely sure whether we got we had to change hotels because of the stench. Because I could have been clear. I think he know because it was us. So we yeah. been kicked out. So we had to go and find it. But Just oh, messing we, around. The next Just day, go with mate, the, the next day, running. Oh, you, no blow where it was seen for the rest of the thingy. Yeah, he's killed Just you. Just ran. Yeah. Were the lads not fuming? Yeah. yeah. No, it was funny at first. And then when we had to run, fucking hell, man. <laughs> I got sunburned that day as well. Sunburned. And fucking... You ever play, try to play football? Sunburned. Sunburn. <laughs> oh, sunburn. oh, it's horrific. Try and do anything with top on, Oh, <laughs> Unbelievable, man! <laughs> Just stumped the whole fucking hotel out for no reason. Some psychotic. That's brilliant, isn't it? And you had a problem with fact. Was the fight with Boovey? Was that at Stockport? No, no, Boovey was a different, oh, diff, is it? different time. Right? Did um, so who so came, who came in after after Gannon? Um, I'd left then. Oh yeah, I'd when gone, so I, when because I, I, I had heart, I had heart problems then. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So I had um, so in my second year there. Just collapsed and we're doing we'll start to doing um shape work, you know. Fridays you do shape don't yeah. you? Yeah. So we're doing shape and um I had heart problems since I was eight, eight or ten. And you always knew about it. I always it, knew yeah. about it, but it just and then I were doing shape and then we did some sprint work after it and I just collapsed. And I was like I couldn't struggle struggling to breathe, kind of thing. And then, did, um, did you you collapse because you faint or or I, just well I couldn't stand up physically because my body was obviously like resetting yeah, yeah. itself Shutting so down. I, shut, I just like fell back and I come around and I remember Roger Wilde the physio just offered me a fucking thing like that flapping me like what's going on Good I'm like, look at Roger, yeah, Roger great physio <laughs> that. Roger's big defib defib no you're that. right I've got a towel imagine that. we don't have defibs then but imagine imagine that your physio right he thinks I'm fucking <laughs> Dead on floor, he's flapping me with a towel, no, no fucking CPR, no nothing. CPR, I know, nothing. just a big grey dish there in front of me. <laughs> Are you okay, Daz? Yeah. And then, um, anyway, got rushed to hospital and uh, they found out I had a thing called SVT. So uh, it's, it's, it's actually not life threatening as my age, but when you get old, it can be. And then, so I had to have two, uh, two heart operations. Right. That. So they go through your groin, through your neck, into your heart, fuck around with it. And then, what do you have, like? Like a, a, a stent or no, no, it it's like just called an ablation. Soldered. So the, yeah, it's like a burn. Yeah, yeah, off, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I had that, and I was out of football for about fifteen months off that. Where, right. did, where did you meet Deep Mara, man? Deep Mara, man. Oh, this that was before. This was pre-season. So fucking, hell, he's a fucking. I'm, yeah, I'm starstruck at first because we we're walking out together, and he's walking the other way, and I'm like, fuck me, that's Deep Mara, man. Who is he playing for? Man City. We oh, you played them pre right, pre-season, pre-season friendly. Right, yeah. okay. pre- when we come back from Italy, Italy, we had a pre-season friendly. And uh King Big Deep Mar there is just walking out of him. So I've let him I've done the honourable thing, let him go first and I've walked behind him. Anyway, we get into the game. Uh he did not move out of the centre circle, by the way. <laughs> he absolutely cash first gear, cigar, just fucking And he was that uh, good at the class way. though. He was class. Like, yeah. You can just do all that intricate passes. The little tiny ones right corner, just doing yeah. them for fun. I've gone, the ball's like, somebody's cleared it and I've gone to like try and bring it down, but he's just stood there. Big, massive German leg just come up, studied me all down my chest. I'm on the floor, I'm like rolling around, like, oh my God. He looked and I go, you fucking big German sausage. I said to him, <laughs> and he went, he went, oh, fuck off. And I went, oh, shy some nonsense. I went, come back when you fucking. You got top goal scorer in the Sunday league. <laughs> he went, I won World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I went, fuck off. Jesus I actually looked though, he didn't actually win it a little bell and he'd come run us up, then he in 2002. Did they lie to you? Lied to me. He went, I won World Cup. Oh mate, they shouldn't say stubble back down my chest though. <laughs> but I felt fuck his deep around, man. I thought yeah. I'll allow it, I'll allow it. You're know, after Tevez as well, weren't you? Yeah, Tevez, another one. So it was a resi game for Stockport. Uh 
We're playing in the Manchester Cup, you know, that shitty cup they're playing. Yeah. So we're playing in that. And uh, Tevez played at Manchester <laughs> Cup. <laughs> it, was, it was a resi game. It was a yeah. resi game, but he'll come out from injury. Brilliant. So when they come out from injury, oh, they play, don't they? That yeah, some yeah. minutes in. He only played 45 minutes uh, to an hour or something. And uh, I'm chasing around the pitch. I love that thing when people are on the pitch. I love just forgetting the game, just chasing them. I said, Tevez, I went, shirt, Tevez, shirt. He wouldn't give me anything, like nothing. Like, no. What, like, ignoring you? Yeah. ignoring me. I was literally, I was playing up front. He was up front. There was no way I could say, I was coming out of my position to go and just ask him. He was playing. Fucking Posse Bomb were playing. Lee Martin, Lee Martin were playing. McKay, do you remember Federico? Yeah, Federico yeah. Bomb, he were playing. So, he's, we won on penalties. Um, all this soul share with manager. Has that? Yeah, soul share with gaffer, yeah. Um, so, Tevez is walking off and I'm chasing him. Literally, he can see me and he must have spotted me and he's he's gone, right from, he's gone from like a walk to a fast jog to sprinting. I'm like, Tevez, shirt anyway, fuck off. I'm like, Tevez, shirt mate. He's like, fuck off. Fuck off. I mean, he couldn't speak English. I go, well, you fucking... I'm calling him... I kept calling him Ribery because he's fucking... <laughs> oh, well, you're just fucking Frank Ribery anyway. <laughs> You're a poor man's front ribbery, that's what I can't say. <laughs> Fuck me, no oh, wonder he yeah, liked no, you. No. He couldn't understand English though, I was calling him a fucking pot noodle and fucking <laughs> potato <laughs> face, everything, mate. He couldn't understand what I was just saying. Like, yeah, why why would he swap your shirt? He's, I don't think he was allowed to be fair. Oh, it's a crazy game, were not it? So, you were just yeah, chasing him just around. Chased, pitch. I chased him, he must, have, he must have been on the pitch for about, say, an hour, and I chased him for 48 to 50 minutes of that game. <laughs> Not yeah, even I, I was even that. kicking ball out for a corner for them so I could go and speak to him. <laughs> no, you no, I didn't do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's mad. Yeah, brilliant though. Fucking seven. So obviously you've been out for 15 months. Do you think that affected you leaving Stockport? So yeah, so I um so I knew we weren't getting a renew renewal from then. It's already got told. Do you think a lot of clubs are wary of someone has a problem well, like know, that and it they think, well, we don't need a player like that dropping yeah. down on a pitch. Well, you know, not anymore. I, I never, think they get scared of it. I never got, I never got another pro club from that. So, no. no, because they're saying it's all like insurance and it and stuff. Yeah, it's all like insurances. So, I was, um, I was like, I signed, I signed a declaration for me. Anything, if anything happens to me on the pitch, it's my fault. Yeah. Um, but at that time there was, there were none of that. Um, yeah, like if you're an owner or a manager, like I said, twenty years ago, or whatever, fifteen years ago, it's a big risk, isn't it? Yeah, because that's their first thought is, well, unless this guy's absolutely brilliant, yeah. why, oh, why yeah. risk? Got it? two lads here who are both decent. Yeah, this guy could drop dead on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Which would this mean, lad yeah, might and, not, and this lad might not, and they're both as good yeah, as each other. Yeah. They're going to choose the other lad, oh, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, hundred percent. So I, I just got, I, I literally never got like I come back and I try getting fitness, but you know, you know, you're miles off it. Yeah, I was miles off it, like literally. It's a long time out yeah, that, wasn't it? Like, but they looked after me to be fair to him, Stockport, and they fuck. I think they went bankrupt through from me, you know. <laughs> like a year later, they, went, they got potted in into like fucking NPL or something, wasn't it? Oh, is that while you were there? I, I, no, it was after I left. Oh, but they, they went into administration. Yeah, but um, your bills because my bill, my heart operation cost about fucking two hundred fifty grand. <laughs> so it's like, jeez, yeah. I got fixed. They got fucked off. <laughs> fuck you, know. But um, the. Uh, yeah, to come back from that, it was it was hard, it was hard, mate. It was yeah. hard. I just knew before I'm miles off it. I, to even get to back into the conference was fucking luck. Was that with Barrow? With Barrow, yeah. To even get back anywhere near. What that is that? Level. Where you started back after? So yeah, so I, I got, that in the national league then is that like conference? Conference, yeah. yeah so yeah. I, obviously, I come back from the um, I come back for operation. I must have had about four months left before July before it was up, and a few games and stuff. Um, and I was just miles off it, mate. I couldn't couldn't. I knew that the time was done and I got called in saying you're not getting renewed or anything. So I was like, you can go look for another club. And I thought, in my head, I went looking. Do you know what I mean? So I thought, I'm fucked here. I'm not I'm not getting back into pro level. Like you said, if anyone anyone with an art problem, they don't want to touch it, do they? No. It's the insurance and stuff. So um Dave Bayliss was the manager. And I just got a phone call and said, Do you want to come down? I was like, Well, yeah, I'll try that, yeah. So far away, all that. Oh fucking! Have you? But the fans as well. Oh my god, they're horrible, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I told you my story about playing up at Barrow when I when I I was warming up at side at pitch, you know, before you go on, and you know when you chip it up and like half volley a ping, yeah, like low ping. Did you have that in your locker? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
You'll soon find out. Yeah. No, no, you hit someone. Didn't you? I hit an old woman. I spooned it off to the right, you know, like me drive on a golf course. Yeah. I spooned it off. It's a full on it face. She had, I think she was holding like a like a chips or pine peas or coffee or something. Mate, bang. She was out cold. No, yeah. I've got, I've got, it affected me. I've got a similar story to that, you know. <laughs> similar. We have a lad at She Radcliffe was a barrel fan. And Hancock. And in the warm up, obviously, there's no nets or anything behind the actual fake net that you use yeah, for yeah. shooting. He picks people out. Tries to hit them instead of the net. <laughs> He's like, right, there's a lad over there about 19. Probably hit him today. <laughs> You're like, what, what are you doing? I'm like, just watch out for my granddad. There. Watch there. out for my granddad. <laughs> Go on, what's yours one? Um, so it was at Bomber Bridge this time. And uh, it's similar, it's literally identical to that, but it was like, I've never been so scared in my entire life. So we're playing Mosley. Now, Mosley. On a Saturday. Is this the Mosley story you're yeah. talking to bring up? Yeah. So on the um, Mosley on a Saturday at three o'clock, blazing up there is shite anyway, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So imagine in the middle of winter on a Tuesday night, freezing cold, right? So we're, we're, warm, we're warming up. We're doing obviously the same routine warm up and then you do shooting after it. Do you want to just get a few good ones in? Yeah. So... Um, I'm just, we're just literally pinging balls, just like hitting them. No keeper in there, just twatting them. And uh, one's just broke, a ball just broke, right? And I've just ran and hit it as hard as I can. But I've obviously, when you hit it, I've been looking down. And as I look up, there's a little old deer walking. <laughs> don't know why she'll be behind the net, but she'll walk in behind the net, right? And at Mosley, they've got the concrete up to your to your hip. And yeah. then, did you see, you oh. can see the top of the half body, right? So I've smashed this ball, but as I've looked at I've seen the trajectory of the ball and I've immediately put my hands on my heads and I've gone, she's looking all the way to be f- to be s- to, to be fair. So I'm looking, I thought, do you remember that goal SN scored against Arsenal? But <laughs> yeah, he got slapped it. it, right? That's how I've caught it, but the difference is mine's off target, his was on target, <laughs> right? <laughs> she's I've gone, hey, like I'm screaming. And as she turned around, it was the perfect, right? As she <laughs> you turned it around. <laughs> if you want to shout it out, I know, it'd have been I, I wanted to move. And as she turned around, the ball, and it's a freezing cold ball, by the way. It's, oh. it's in minus two degree. And it, I don't know how the game was on. It slapped her right in the dish, right? And I've hit that odd. Her body is like kind of catapulted. <laughs> so her, her head's gone, but her legs are still in her. And then she's just letting the know you don't see any of her. So I've gone, oh my God, I've killed her. I've killed her. So me... Three little lads were come running over, and I was like, "How bad do you feel?" I'm like, listen, I looked over, and anybody who's not dead who looks dead was the epitome <laughs> of this person. <laughs> so I've looked, and she's got a little dog with her, right, and a little Yorkshire Terrier dog, and he, she, he, the, he or she sat on his chest, and he looks up in that, and I've gone, "Oh my god." A fucking dog's glass. like this. <laughs> a, a glasses Better are, than that physio yeah, at fucking a, a, Stockport. Her glasses are at five to fucking five. <laughs> a fucking false teeth, one side of foot uh, uh, hanging out. Her <sighs> wigs fell off because she had fucking fake hair. She's got a big <laughs> cue ball head. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not honestly, it was fucking unbelievable. Her tongue were nearly touching her ear. She was dead. I thought, <laughs> I've killed a woman. So I've gone running back into physio to get off. Her wigs <laughs> come off. Her wigs fell off, mate. She, she must have, she had a big bald head. So we've I've run into fucking to get Gus. I've gone, Gus, get here now. I've killed, I'll leave him. I've killed somebody. Come. I mean, what do you mean? You've got, I've, I've killed somebody. Come on, mate. So I've gr- grabbed him. I mushed him down. He's in the dugout. It's the tunnel in Mosley. It's yeah, tiny, it's tiny. can't get through. No. So I'm pushing Gus down it. I didn't do go out. I popped my head out and there's 30 people <laughs> around this woman. I've gone, oh my God. I've gone, I've killed her. I've, she's definitely dead. And what Joking says, when I looked at her, she looked dead. Like <laughs> Even my mate, like Mark Chris, he was like, you've killed her. So obviously with that in my ear, I've, I've killed her. So I'm going, I'm, I've gone back into change rooms. I'm like this, I'm pacing up and down. I'm, 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 I rang my, my missus at the time to tell her that I've killed somebody. And so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking prison cells in my head, everything, oh, fucking head went. And I'm like this. And I hear, I hear some steps come up, back up. And Gus is coming, the, the physio, and he's gone, Daz, he's gone, she's all right, she's fine. And do you know when you feel the relief? Yeah. I thought, oh, my God. So I'm playing, by the way. I'm starting the game. So my head's smashed. So I... Uh, so it hurts. <laughs> so I get in. We get in, we get changed. We get. We go to go out onto the field. You know, you do that line, you shake each other's hand. And it must have a stand, don't they? Yeah. So I've looked. 
She's fucking. The, she's got a big, massive blanket over. Her. I don't know how she must have borrowed someone else's glasses because the glasses she had on her face weren't the glasses because they were if, if, they vaporized with that ball. So she sat there and she's got like a, a mug of Bovril. And I just, I just remember looking up and I go, "How are you still alive? <laughs> how is she still at the game? How is she still going? How oh, is she still at the game? I've, never, watched? I've yeah, never been just... so scared in my life, boys. Honestly, it was horrific. Oh, I thought I genuinely killed her. The best bit was just seeing the image of the wig, her teeth, and the glasses like this. Imagine the bruise that she had. Oh, no, no. Because she had the film that he was stick print on her face <laughs> about three adult. weeks later. <laughs> tattoo, the tattoo. Eighty-eight with a big fucking Evo stick ball on her face. Some woman. Some woman. That's yeah, it's just a horrible feeling. It was it? awful, yeah. Horrible it, feeling. But when she was when when the news was all right, I, I come back. I feel like You laughed. Yeah, I laughed, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say no, but No no I didn't laugh. I don't I didn't I didn't laugh straight away. I laughed after the game. Yeah. I didn't laugh. I was I'm, I'm gonna get on to <laughs> you. Get me just, off that one. I was gonna get on to you just being a, a total wind up merchant on social media as well. Yeah, and that's got you into a bit of trouble as well. Yeah, that's got it? me in loads of trouble. So, so was, do you, yeah, what do you no, do? Do you just do you just get drunk and just go on social media? Well, was uh, this before you come to rap me out? After? So I was still yeah. I was, no, I was I was always been a wind up for before any team really. But on social media, like I just you got down to like everyone just kept on oh, following you. I, I think I was and saying, his challenge I think, I think I think I, I think I had three hundred followers, three hundred fifty followers. And after about two months, I had like 86, and I thought, right, my goal is to get zero followers. <laughs> so I covered and retweeting everything. And but I think, like, like so you liked him, so you stayed on. So I don't have one follower. <laughs> one follower. Imagine that is your goal at 25, seven. trying to get no followers on Twitter. What a fucking bell. <laughs> Everybody else in the world yeah, trying to get thinking as many I followers. I thinking as they out, can. mate. But I didn't think I just, I just, to me, I was a weirdo. So it was just, it was normal to me then doing all that. Like everyone else in the world get as many. Social media followers you can. I wanted at least. Let's see if I can get to zero. <laughs> what can I do that's going to put everybody off? Yeah. But yeah, it's so guy. weird. Weren't, it was you, guy. weren't you after Jono before you signed for him as well? Uh, no. I, I, was I, it after I, you? No, no. So I worked with Jono and Burn. So I. Um, <laughs> so I. Uh, do you never give... think about the consequences when you're doing stuff? Is it always no, after it's you? It's always. Go? I'm always after me. So I always think I'm going to be fine. And. If I'm not fine, it's better to think that you are going to be fine until you're not fine and then deal with it then. Yeah. Do you know true. what I mean? Yeah. So I did true. that. And even with John O'Burn, I did that. So, <laughs> fuck it. John O was, um, I uh, I didn't, I didn't banter him as much when, when before I signed for him. So I, I used to give him like a little bit and he'd give me a little bit back in that. That was it. That's as far as it went. And then he signed me. He, rang, he tweeted me saying, do I fancy Rami? I think I text back saying no underneath it first time. <laughs> just being a dick, but no. no. And then I thought, Even if you did. Then, yeah, just no. trying to wind him up and then go, I think about 20 minutes later, I said, how am I joking, mate? Yeah, yeah we'll be all right. Uh, and he just changed numbers on that. And he said, how much do you want? I can't remember, I think I said about 150 quid. And he just laughed down the phone. He says, you're not getting 150 quid here, mate. Not a rabbit. Yeah, not a rabbit. Not with Harry either. Jesus. So um, I think, I can't remember what we agreed on. And then uh, it actually started off all right, you know. Started off well there, but you was at Rami, and it's a big click there, wasn't it? Massive click. And if yeah, you didn't fit, if you didn't <clears throat> fit into that click, you was. It wasn't on purpose. We had lads who'd played. We had ten lads who'd played two hundred and fifty. Yeah, you're saying yeah. yeah. So that's just automatically, uh, you know each other, don't you? Yeah. So when anyone else come in that was new, you either fit in or you didn't. It was yeah, weird. It was a click, yeah. But it, you, from the outside, you could tell it was a definite click. Yeah. Like nobody fucking, you know how hard football is to get into, to get a mate in football. It's yeah. fucking horrible. You have to do something wonderful in five minutes if people respect you. I had I, I had a lot of friends. Not <laughs> <laughs> what you're on about. So I got I get in there and then uh, I obviously I could tell I was out like just trying to fit my way in. And I thought, do you know what? There's a time here where my head goes. If I'm not going to fit me, I'm going to disrupt as much as I possibly can. Do you know what I mean? Fuck him. Fuck. Was that your thought? That was my thought. Fuck you. Fuck John or Fuck Burn. Fuck Rami. Fuck Jordan. I'm going to disrupt every single person in this fucking club as I can, apart from Harry, because he'd probably twatted me. So um, I was just being a dick. Right? I was just like, just doing stupid shit. Like, I remember at training, we, I, we used to train at Blackburn, didn't we? Yeah, that, soccer dome. That soccer dome thing. And I, like, always, he always say, get there for a certain time. He's turning like 50 minutes late all the time. Do you know, just the, I was in charge kind of thing. That's yeah. That's always in my head. 
He purposely turned up purposely, on... Purposely, every time right. turned up late. <laughs> every time. And then, like, gas stopped from... I knew gas stopped from, from, from Kendall. And um, even he was fucking, like, a bit shady with me as well. So that pissed me off as well with Gaz. Not like he was, he was never my close mate or anything. He was never like, just like a football, you know, like footy, I, you, you met friends in footy, and he's just like one of them. And um, even he was like off with me. So then to get around, to get to like with John Owen Byrne, and then I was never going to make it there, ever. Yeah. Not make it, never going <coughs> to like stay there for the duration. Do you know what I mean? It was yeah. never going to work. So, um, like, fucking, it's like angry as man it will, by the way. Hey. John Owen. Yeah. Why is he so angry? So Another angry. Another angry guy. And me and angry guys don't go well, mate. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I could see you two clashing, yeah. honestly, like in a in a football environment. Yeah, so like, we're playing Wakefield at home, right? We're 3-1 up at our time. I've scored. Scored an header. Don't, I fucking don't mind, mate. I'm, <laughs> I'm how I scored an header, but I scored an header. Yeah, yeah. I scored that game. Yeah. I was at the rugby ground. No, it was at home, this. Oh, well, no, it was probably home. Score, right? <laughs> I think he was on bench. <laughs> Do you not remember playing him away? And he played at Wakefield Rugby Ground. Right. So before the game, we're all stood on the pitch and Billy Priestley ran in and got the rugby team's mascot outfit on. So it's like a full, what are they, Wakefield Wolves or something right. like that. So he's come out with a full outfit on. <laughs> ran out, started hugging <laughs> John over and burning that. Everyone's like, who the fuck's this? And he just took the fucking helmet off. It was brilliant, honestly. That's what he used to do, he just fuck about constantly. Um, so, uh, so I'm away for, and John, I've got, I've got the ball. I was playing centre mid that game as well. So I've got the ball and I've pinged it out wide to Wiz. And John wanted me to do like a, just a fucking five yard, 10 yard simple ball. But he'd been screaming all the way through the game, like everybody. You know, he was shouting at everybody, didn't he? And then, uh, he was shouting at me, and he, he, he shouted at me about a pass, and I went, fuck off, John, you give me a fucking headache. And the stir he gave me, right, I thought, oh, even now, I went, fucking hell, I've done it here, and I, I'm in trouble. Yeah, throughout the game, like 15 minutes to go, 15, guys stopped for running past me, went, all the best fella at all time, <laughs> I'm running past, everyone getting in my head, oh, he's like, cut my ass being you, Daz, fucking, gets an half time, mate. <sighs> he's gone hell forever at me, hasn't he? Did he? Yeah, he's gone fucking ballistic, he's, I think, burn. I think Billy Priestley trying to hold him back everyone holding him back and I went because everyone holding him back I was like fucking come on then <laughs> you know <what> you <laughs> say. fucking dead head <laughs> uh, but you were making him angry and he's a strong boy aren't they John if they got through them I'd have been fucked so t- Rami changed rooms with Ted Tiny weren't they so they like they kind of ushered him out and ushered me to one side and I was like yeah fucking come on then and then uh, he's gone he said right, you're going to have to get changed so I got changed went home never fucking Come back, never. Did you never, never come, come back? back from that? No, I didn't even get my last wage packet either. For fucking <laughs> shoved out your fucking ass as well. Put it behind the bar, yeah. You know? Put it behind the bar, <laughs> yeah. And then, um, yeah, that was it with me and John Orr. But and then got so, three pints with it. <laughs> so then he were, um, he were playing Ashton United, Rami were playing Ashton United, and they were 2 0 up. And I was at pub, and I remember looking at it, keeping eyes on tweets, they don't, yeah, fucking, and uh. So the two 0 up, and then it was about I think it was like eighty fifth minute. It's still two 0 up, and I check again. They get beat three two. Right, I've text John O. Massive capital letter so he could read it as well, just in case. <laughs> I've put ha ha, you are fucking shite. <laughs> the worst duo manager I've ever seen. <laughs> what goes through your head? I don't know. Man. When you've been chased I, out of a club, I don't know. Man. To I was, then, I just thought, I, I just thought, fuck you, attitude. Well, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> And then I was just constant. And then apparently, fucking John or fucking come to Preston looking for me. Everything <laughs> come looking to hunt me down, mate. Imagine if you caught me. Imagine if he got his hands on me after that. I don't think I'd be sat here fucking talking to him. The guy would have fucking annihilated me. I mean, I mean, he went I'm looking for you and found Richie Allen. I think you are. He went looking for you and found Richie Allen. Yeah. Signed him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I'm glad it was John who I pissed off and not Burn either. So Burn's, Burn's a rough one. Burn's a, Burn were quiet though, weren't he? Yeah. Burn were quiet. Burn were quiet, for but that. they were the worst. John was like fucking extrovert. He just, everything was out. But I mean, I couldn't be asked with both of them. Do you know what I mean? Either, either of them. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered with both of them. Either of them being after you. Yeah, I couldn't be asked either. with them. I mean, at the time, it was funny. But then after a certain amount of time, when I realised you come to Preston looking for me, I thought, if this guy gets hold of it, I am fucked. <laughs> I am definitely fucked. Oh, no. It's no chance. It's a little fucking puddle of shit on the floor that will be what I will be you're uh, you're big into snooker aren't you oh yeah there's a belt in this isn't it 
Fucking brilliant. So it was Green Woodman manager at this time, Tony. And I've got, I've got a lot of I like Tony. So I'm, I'll never, I won't bad mouth Tony. I like Tony. And uh, he, uh, it was, I think it might be Thursday training. And uh, I'm sat in town. And the mates text me saying, got two couple of tickets for um, snooker at Guildhall in Preston. Ronnie O'Sullivan's playing. I thought, fucking, I want to go and see Ronnie O'Sullivan play. So I text Tony. And what I used to do is, because Tony hated text, he wanted you to ring him so he could hear you in your voice. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I um, so I texted him. I said, uh, I can't, I can't, um, I can't come training, mate. I'm, uh, I'm ill. Something wrong with me. So he tried ringing me, and he said, "I can't, I can't answer the phone because my voice, my speaker's broke on my phone. Never was. It's just I couldn't hear him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Couldn't, just, don't speak to him. Anyway, that's that. Don't go to training. Go to snooker. I'm sat in snooker. I'm having a couple of pints and that. I'm having a good time. Um, goes home. Nothing of it. Saturday comes in. I goes into change rooms. My name's on the board. All right, from starting for fair play. So." And then what Tony, what he didn't, what he always do is get everyone in and then talk about what was going on, like the tactics and whatever. Yeah. And this particular time, he didn't. He started going on about like he went, oh, just, he went talking. I, I could hear him talking to one of the lads. Oh, like I love snooker, right? And I was like, I was, I was sat in the back bit where you couldn't see me. So I was just about snooker for. And he goes, you start to panic. Do you, like, do you love snooker? And I was like, it was like, well, I do love snooker, but Taz, you like snooker, don't you? I went, eh, it's all right, yeah, why? He says, look at this, I'm watching Snooker the night, mate. He went, look, he went, who's that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> no. Sat in, I, I didn't know the Snooker was on telly. So I'm sat in, thinking I'm in a pint, and the camera pans to me, and I'm sat in Snooker watching Ronnie Oh, How does you look? I know, mate. And he goes, um, he goes, you like Snooker, don't you? And I said, look at that. I went, oh <laughs> my God. I went, uh, he said, I thought he was ill on Thursday. I said, uh, and then obviously I'm banged to right. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And the best bit about it, he went, oh, he went, oh, by the way, run my name out. He went, you're not fucking playing either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he went, oh, by the way, you get changed, you're not in the squad either. I oh, did Where it. Where you in the squad? I sent you out. Bear bomb me. Oh. Brilliant, though. No. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Fair he play. He held it all that time. Yeah. Held it all that time. He's played it well, He's played it? it well. And he goes, and then my face, just my fucking dish, just on his phone. That I'm, I'm Imagine fucking... him just sat watching snooker <laughs> and then the camera's panting. Well, I didn't gone. know he was an average snooker. Older, I didn't, didn't how, how the fuck am I meant to know he loves snooker? <laughs> he what, loves what, snooker. what man loves snooker anyway? <laughs> well, you went to watch I'm it. I know, but I'm all right. He's not. <laughs> and then... And then the best bit, mate, he just rubbed my name out. He went, you're not excited. He went, oh, get changed because you're not in the squad either. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> get yourself to snooker all. Fair, fair, fair play, Tom. But he, he, didn't, he didn't like, we thought he was all right with me, Tom. He didn't, didn't hold it he against, didn't against me. No, he Because he, he knew it. He kind of off the bit. Like, he knew I was pulling the fast ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, he, uh, he was all right with it after about a week. I or remember so. using that excuse a lot that you speak and it work on your phone. I remember yeah, on no, it's a belter, out. weren't it? On the speaker out. doesn't work. I can't hear. I can't answer I can't the phone. The and then what I used to do, I used to answer it, and press mute, and then I'm saying hello, hello. They can't hear. Can't they? <laughs> <laughs> Phones on mute on loudspeaker. Hello, hello. <laughs> not to you, Gaffer. It's not working, Gaffer. Says. And when Kevin got kicked out of the changing room, yeah, were you there? Then? Yeah. Oh, it was the best ever. So he's got kicked out of the changing room. A similar thing. He'd been bad mouthing John and Bernard, hadn't he? Yeah, and. and that found out. So they got him in the changing room and said, go on, what have you got to say now? Well, that we know. And they even went, we know, because Alison's grass you up. And Alison's sat in the changing room. We shall Alison. Yeah. Alison was sat in the same changing room like this. Oh, no. <laughs> but then he's got, so he's been kicked out, picks up his bag, fucks off, carry on the team talk. No, but didn't we? Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, there's Sorry, a yeah. knock on the door. Sorry. They opened it. The lad's come back in and gone, I picked up the wrong bag. Oh, no. <laughs> so he's had to walk back through the changing room, drop the bag, oh. pick his bag up and walk back out. Everyone was just sat there like... No, but did everyone just start laughing? As, as soon as he left the door, door, he shut the door, everyone just went, bah. She says, what about that one when we was at Rammy together? And that young kid coming through the door. Do you remember the tattoo on his chest? No. Do you remember? Not the one where I dropped my kex. No, 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 no I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what's you, going on? You here? used to sit across from me, so you sat there and I sat here. Yeah. And we had, we had no keepers. 
So Philly had to get a keeper in. So he was a young lad, he must have been about 18. Anyway, we start getting changed, he takes his top off and he's got a little tattoo, a little over on his chest with a name in it, right, or something. And I went, obviously, I was, because he's in his car, I went, what? I went, what the? I went, turn around, fella. So I look at that. I went, what the fuck's that? I said, lads, I was like, lads, get on this fucking tattoo. I said, it's the worst tattoo I have ever seen. I said, what does it fucking mean anyway? I said, oh. uh, my sister died. Yeah. <sighs> Do you remember? Yeah. So my sister died. And I went, Do you remember the thought that everyone just went silent? And I went, I, That's the probably worst situation I've ever been in. She died when she was about 10 or something. And he had a little tattoo of her name. Fucking heartbreaking. Anyway, everyone just went, Poof, flat. You can't even get up for a no, game. No, you can't. Weekend, you can't. Yeah. Nobody said anything until we went out. And even when we went out warming up, nobody said that, did we? Yeah, I, um, when you stick your foot right in it, I fucking put, <laughs> I jumped two foot in that on my whole body and no fucking, no. <laughs> The worst thing I have ever said, I think, it's in my like entire you. life. I'm like, <laughs> it's not like you. Why are you putting your foot in the fucking hell, man? <laughs> oh, and then you had a bit of a fallout with Rodri. Rodri Giggs, another one fucking pissed up again, Twitter. Giggs, he banged his wife, weren't he, brother? So you've got to get a stick for that, surely. <laughs> I think you've got a stick from everybody. Yeah. So, did you not think maybe you don't need stick at this? Well, I don't time. think, do I? <laughs> That's, if I thought, if I thought, George, I wouldn't be fucking in the situation I got half of my life in. <laughs> So he's fucking, he's obviously going for all that shit. So I thought it was a good idea to bombard him with a lot of tweets. And when I say bombarding, I mean every minute Ryan's banging your missus. Oh. Ryan's banging your missus. Ha, 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 ha. You fucking sad bastard. Everything you can think of. Uh, it's putting like really ruthless stuff. And then, um, I mean, I think that was another Amy Winans there, you know. <laughs> yeah, or Edward Sider on that could have been. I don't know how fucking tired to be fucking too contract to me. I'm, um, but yeah, we're relentless. And then he's another one who come looking for me. And they, he come he apparently he come looking for me in Preston. And the next, the Salford job, he got the Salford job. And we were when I went by my bridge, and we were due to play him. I guess we got a fucking sore army on Thursday. <laughs> Did you? Fucking big DG. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not turn Fucking army went. I went. I went. Uh, Crowy, army's gone, mate. Never went. No, I couldn't go. They couldn't fuck that, mate. He would come to Preston looking for me. He's just got the fucking. Sold for a job. There's no way I'm turning up there. You shit ass. Oh, shitty pants. <laughs> Proper shitty kicks. <laughs> no so, chance, mate. Do you reckon kicked? you'd have had a better career if you just kept your mouth shut? Or what? No, I had an unbelievable career, me, mate. Just fucking the way I've acted. <clears throat> I've, I mean, I've made myself laugh. I've made a lot of people laugh along the way. Yeah, you've, yeah you've made a lot of yeah, people laugh. That's I've a good way to think as just well. That's, I'm happy. I don't have no regrets. Probably only regret I have with that tattoo shout. Yeah. That's the only regret. I have ever asked, that's that's fucking even though it weren't it weren't like m- a malicious or anything. Yeah, it's just the way it's just what it meant to him. Do you know what I mean? And I've said that and and going into that shit cheese shop and going to that shit cheese. Yeah, fucking that I remember that. It was a good, it was a good little shitty place. That wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Beer about ten pound fifty a pint. <laughs> not when you were gas. Not when yeah. Not when you'd have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where, where's a few more? Fight with Adam Dugdale. Oh, yeah, he was another bell end as well. <laughs> hey, another one playing for Barrow. Playing for Barrow against Altrincham. That's We're 3 right. nil down. Yeah. 3 nil down after about fucking 35 minutes. Having a fucking great game. My Dugdale sent her off. I went, like, you're fucking useless. So the big fucking, I call him a big pencil back or something. He used to walk with stiff back, didn't he? And, uh, and then his, his head had gone. He just, while the game was playing, he would chase me. He left his position. I don't know what it is when people chase me around there. I got kept getting chased around. Fucking chased around my whole career. He just chased me around the whole pitch while the game was going on. <laughs> same, Seriously. Same, same team. Same well. team chasing me. He was fucking, when I say, not like running, walking after me. So I'm going to fucking kill you in his accent, in his fucking scout's accent. The fucking bell in him, you know. Yeah, I can. Proper dickhead. What happened after a, the game then? Nothing happened? No, he like, fell into after the game, like with Dave Bellis and Daz Sheridan saw it out. But yeah, we, we never got on with each other, me and him. I remember we went to, um, it all happened when we went to, uh, we played, Cambridge, first game of the season. We, had, we went to Peterborough United's training ground to do the training because we'd travel down on the yeah, Friday. Yeah. And we just, we just didn't get on from there. Like tackles, we were just chucking fucking two massive tackles in it uh, in training. Like trying to hurt people, like proper trying to hurt people. It was only like, it was proper old school though, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But probably, I reckon one of the fucking worst people I've ever come across in football. Then. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. I did really dislike the guy. <laughs> he sounds like yeah, it. And he had an absolute fucking schnozzle on him as well. <laughs> big mesut. Big mesut schnoz. Used to fucking... 
It's a grilling for that as well. That's probably why I hate him. It's a grilling. Oh, fucking Nose Mourinho's here. <laughs> no, Nose Mourinho. Hey, Nose, come here. <laughs> Can you imagine just like, that's what I mean. Like, first time I met him, he was hammering me. I can't remember what you were saying. It's probably the same thing. <laughs> Put your take your quiff off and throw it bin, you fucking yeah, pigeon. Something like, like that. that. But actually, when you get to know him, he's a lot nicer guy than and a lot of it's just it's not even hey, it's all it was all just to make just, people happy. Yeah, it was literally just, like I didn't I used to say to this like nothing no, malicious. Now I got it? older, it was never malicious. It was all for my personal laughs. Yeah. And for other people to laugh as well, because obviously it was social media and I got a lot of attention off it. So obviously the more I kept doing it, the more I wanted to keep doing it. Yeah. So yeah. But when people used to say all the time, once you get to know me, you're a decent guy to get to know him. But uh, to be fair, when you're hammering people, nobody wants to get to I don't like Jordan the one to get to know me. Imagine that <laughs> chasing around on the pitch saying, Quite those bang your fucking missus for 90 minutes. I remember relentlessly, weren't it? Your head had completely gone, your touch were like fucking pinging off everywhere. <laughs> That's that, normal. That nothing to me, <laughs> That's man. normal. Can't blame that on you, man. No, yeah, no, yeah, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> but mate, yeah, it's been a very uh like very, what was, what was the word? Very varied career. Yeah, very, very varied. I reckon. Like, because you played, you played at a very good level. And I, yeah. and I remember when I played Rivier, I thought you had a wand of a left foot. Like you was a good player, and you, but you could see. Yeah, my left foot was like a Bugatti. My right one was like a Fiat Punto. Yeah. I, was just, I never used the right no, foot. You couldn't do anything you with your right zero foot. Zero ability. But you could definitely see that with the right mentality, with your ability, you, you'd have played higher. I always said like there were definitely I thought a screw I had loose. zero regrets about anything I did. I did, did have a screw loose. I was a fucking idiot, and I I hundred percent all that. Yeah. But I won't change any of it, any of it for the world because I fucking I made a lot of people laugh. I like I made a lot of friends. I, well. I made a lot of pals. Yeah. I entertained a lot of people. And then if I had like if I had like somebody's attitude who was spot on, doing like a proper good attitude, maybe I'd have got. I'd have had a decent career. I played a lot, a lot, a lot more in the football league. Do you know what I mean? But but then your heart failed you anyway. You and my heart was fucked your anyway. So anyway, you know what I mean. So, but you can't please everybody, man. As long as I no. had a good time, I couldn't give a fuck about everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I really couldn't. I had a great time in that, in that eight year period, mate. I was having a worldly time, mate. Well, I like I said, I enjoyed <coughs> you as a teammate. Um, we got on. We all, oh, all got we, on. That, that was that was it was good. Good little couple of years, that weren't it? We really got on. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Me, you, and um, Ryan Salmon. Ryan Salmon. He's he's still in the ball, by the way. We we had a few. We had a few crazy nights out. We did, we? didn't we? Yeah. Back of that coach as well. Won't bring <laughs> we won't bring it on here, mate. But I remember. <laughs> <laughs> leave that one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's a rainy day, mate. It's yeah, not rainy. Another yet. rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, mate, absolute pleasure to have you on. Good right. listening to back to some of the stories. Bringing it back to the old, old, the old school non-leagueers, aren't yeah, we? It is. Loved it, loved it, mate. Mate, absolute pleasure. pleasure. That's green. Thank you. Tech is green. <laughs> That's tech is green.